Something I haven't done is a dedicated video to my personal settings on these Evolve 30Ms. So I thought I'd go ahead and take care of that today. I've had these since they came out. I used them at the Las Vegas DJ show for like three days in a row. And then I've had them out at every event that I've done this year. Now granted, I've only done about four events since the COVID outbreak, but I've used them every time for crowds anywhere from, I think 60 people to 160 people. And I've been very satisfied with them. I love the weight. I love how they sound. And you know, these are my settings, mind you. So you may want to set them up a little different than I do, but this seems to work really well for me. So the first thing I got to do is make sure that I'm hitting zero dB max on my mixing board. This is also called the unity setting. And if you don't know what that's all about, go ahead and look it up. I've got some videos on it. This is very important if you want to achieve good clean sound. And the other thing I would recommend is use good clean files whenever you can. I use 320k mp3s. That's good enough for me. Some people use even better stuff like FLAC or WAVE and that's fantastic. But I feel like 320k is pretty good. If I go below that, I do see a reduction in sound quality. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings on the speaker itself. First thing I'm going to do is press down on the master volume knob. It's actually a button too. You may have to hit it twice depending on how long you've had your speaker on. It may be in sleep. I'm going to go all the way down and just reset everything. It's erasing every preset that I've put into the speaker. Now it's going to reboot. So now we're starting from scratch. The first thing you're going to want to do is press down on this knob. And see where it says function mixer? Choose basic. Am I sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Now, on the Evolve 50s, when it comes to the mode, there are several different ones you can choose from. As you can see, Live, Speech, Club. I prefer Live on the Evolve 50s, but for some reason, for DJing, I like music on the 30M. So I'm going to leave that at music. The only other change that I make is I come down here to mid, and this is just a personal preference, you can do it or not. And I do like a three decibel mid cut. Now, you can go back up here and exit. Notice my volume is at zero dB. I can turn it up, I can turn it down, but zero dB is a good place for that to be. That's the master volume. We're going to be dealing with input one because we're just dealing with basic mixer settings. We're going to run either our quarter inch or XLR into the input one and work with that. The volume on that is accessed by pressing this button right here. And as you can see, once again, level zero dB. I'd leave it there, but if you find that you need a little more juice for some reason, I wouldn't worry about going ahead and going up to like a plus three dB. I wouldn't do it every night, but if you're in a situation where you feel like you need it, I think you're pretty safe there. But most of the time, I prefer to run it right here at 0 dB. Now about that 3 dB gain, I've only used it one time and it was at my 160 person event. I wouldn't use it at every event, and if I found that I was using it at every event, I would probably want to go ahead and step up to a bigger speaker system. These are supposed to be compact, portable, and easy to use. They're not supposed to be wall shakers. They're just supposed to sound good. Nice, clean, crisp sound on the dance floor, conversation areas elsewhere in the room. And for me and my sound objectives, they work really well. But if you have new hip hop, ultra low bass frequency sound objectives, you might want to look at a different system. These might not be for you. Now I have heard a person or two in the forums mention that they've experienced clipping with the 30Ms. Let me talk about clipping for a minute, and this goes for any amplifier or speaker you're working with. If you get a flashing clip indicator of some kind, it is indeed flashing. That's probably okay, especially when you're throwing bass through this thing. When a bass hit, it flashes. I wouldn't worry about it. I've never worried about it. What you worry about is that steady on clip light. That means the speaker is getting way overloaded and 
you need to either turn it down or think about getting a bigger speaker system. But the flashing clip, that's okay. And that's been my rule since powered speakers came out. It was my rule way back when I was running passive speakers with Crown Macrotech amplifiers or whatever. Flashing's okay, steady on, bad. But anyway, yeah, there you go. There's my settings, there are a few things that I've discovered about these speakers that I think work really well. You may like something different. You may want to play around with those DSP settings a little bit. Maybe you prefer live. Maybe you like speech or something else or club. That is entirely up to you, but I think music sounds pretty good on these. And that 3 dB cut, again, it's my personal preference. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. I think it's a lot easier on the ears. So anyway, hope this video helps somebody. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.